Hello and welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome, Cross Watcher. Say hello to Leo. He's just passing through. Keep going. <laughs> if you're brand new to the channel, he's in a very mischievous mood today, guys. So if you see me dice and splice here, it's just because I have to get him out of here and put him somewhere where he won't cause so much trouble. Okay, you can sit. Sit nice. Ugh. Anywho, welcome to those of you who are brand new to the channel. Happy to have you join us. Say hi in the comments. Okay, I'm pulling from angels and ancestors to activate the reading. Let's see your message. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. This is actually perfect because we have the um, full moon in Capricorn coming up on the 21st, 22nd, depending on your time zone. And to me, the full moon in Capricorn is, is like that culmination where, you know, the Capricorn is the sea goat, is the goat, right? Climbs the mountain, which is quite spiritual, right? To get the higher perspective, to see farther, um, with regard to, of course, goals and ambitions, but you know, we can certain apply, certainly apply it to relationships because Capricorn is opposite the sign of Cancer where the sun is. And Cancer is very relational in, in sort of a homey way, right? It's very nurturing. So see from a higher perspective, I also tend to feel that whenever we have birds show up, it is like visitation, you know, visitation from passed on loved ones. So keep that in mind. For those of you who, like me, have been visited by large birds, um, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull the um, split soulmate spread. I'll give you my general impressions. We'll get details from the clarifiers. And if it seems to speak spot on to your experience, there, will, there are links in the description box that will take you to an extended version where we do a deeper dive. Okay, so just letting you know that's available to you. Do keep in mind, this is a general reading, not a private reading, so it may not resonate for everybody. That's okay. Um, take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Here we go. Six of Cups, how lovely. That, to me, draws on past life soulmate energy for your person here. And I, uh, as always, you can reverse the energies if you need to. Oh my, okay. So for your person, their present energy here, um, Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles um, begins with the end in mind. You've heard me say it a lot, slow and steady wins the race. This is about being you know, conscious in our intentions. Sorry for the noisy neighbors. Um, right, being conscious in our intentions and wherever this person is headed, they're headed to stay. So the good news is, it's not based on impulse, okay? Now their blocker challenge, what the holdup is, is um, kind of about their level of cooperation or buy-in. The Three of Pentacles talks about, um, you know, creating a solid foundation upon which to build something more. Um, and now their opportunity in the near future is the Five of Cups. And even though the Five of Cups talks about, you know, the past, it is in this deck really beautifully portrayed where it looks like she's contemplating with each cup that she drinks from and she's stacking them up and she's sort of just in this energy of contemplation of what has gone before. So I'm not seeing it in a negative way other than it may be an opportunity for this person to reflect on mistakes of the past. And that may be why they are in Knight of Pentacles and not wanting to make any mistakes based on impulse. So that's them. On your side, you're showing up with Queen of Pentacles. A lot of earthy energy in this reading for you here, Aries. You know, this is um, sort of about focusing on yourself, taking care of yourself. It is a feminine archetype of a life partner, but you come to that by way of your own stability. In your blocker challenge, Six of Wands, you're waiting for that moment where you come together and you sort of agree 
um, may, maybe negotiate or um, compromise on a situation. The Six of Wands feels very conciliatory. It's where we kind of come together and see where what we have, where the common bond is, so that we can forge some peace. Um, and then your opportunity in the future is the Two of Cups. So that feels very lovely to me. We're looking at a very powerful connection. Don't forget it can be reversed. Take it as it resonates for you. Let's see the Six of Cups. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords, there's our Queen of Pentacles. Um, oh. This feels to me like it's um, some, there's some restless energy. The, the Page of Swords can be sort of like the Spire Detective of the Tarot, but in this case, it looks like there's some kind of need for certainty. And that Nine of Swords is where you're up at night, right? You're losing sleep. I wonder what they're doing. I wonder, you know, I wonder what, what when they'll reach out, if they'll return, if they'll you know if they're interested the way i am if they're buying into the connection to the degree that i am if they feel what i feel boy that has been coming through in a lot of readings lately so i do feel there is um and i'm feeling it's coming more from your energy maybe not but it feels like there's some concern on your part about that return that triumphant homecoming um for the two of you so yeah, a little bit of worry, a little bit of curiosity, um, but in a way where it's kind of like, I just need something to hang my hat on. Um, for your person, their present energy, Knight of Pentacles. Six of Swords, Ten of Wands, Justice. Wow. Um, whoever this is is really trying to move past something that's been weighing on them stressful burdensome they really kind of want to like let it all go it's a big release energy and move to calmer waters and it seems to me with that um, justice card underneath that their goal is to kind of restore the balance maybe by taking some measure of accountability but by whatever means the, the point is this is just too much. And even though they're moving slowly, it seems like that's the perfect antidote to whatever it is that happened before. That may have happened out of impulse and now they just, they wanna get beyond that. It's weighing on them and um, their goal is to restore some balance. Let's see the three of pinnacles in the blocker challenge. Oh. So what you're looking to build a foundation for is a, a committed, a conventional committed relationship. And it feels like this person has suffered um, at the hands of some form of commitment in the past. Maybe they, they want the happiness that, that a committed relationship can bring, but it feels to me like they're not completely bought in yet because there may be some lingering wounds and that could be either between you um, or from a past connection. So their opportunity with the Six of Cups. I'm sorry, I said six, five. Five of Cups, <laughs> I get the Five of Cups again. The cards were getting jammed up because I said six instead of five right? Double hit of the five of cups. That's the opportunity is like, yeah, no, you're not going back there. Spirit's telling them here, I'm giving you this gift of inspired passion. Take it, grab it, run with it. And underneath is a two of swords, right? Cause it's, it's like a crossroads moment where you're either going to stay stuck in the past and therefore nursing wounds that, you know, it's not going to serve you anymore. So I feel like spirit's telling this person, if this connection will make you happy, don't let any wounds to your ego or pride or anything else get in the way. That was then, this is now. So their opportunity is um, rapidly approaching, I think because I'm seeing the Ace of Wands, I'm feeling like the immediacy of it. Let's see for you, Queen of Pentacles. 
I got noisy neighbors here. I got long guys out here. It's a lot today. I cannot win. Okay. So you are very much in your grounded energy here, Queen of Pentacles. And, you know, everything is coming from your heart. There's no confusion here about how you feel. I do feel you're open to a message, something sincere from the heart, from your beloved, from your person. You have the Two of Cups twice now. So you're very focused on this connection from a solid, grounded, stable point of view. I think you take this relationship seriously. There's no doubt about that. Um, and so let's see the Six of Wands in your blocker challenge. Wheel of Fortune, Judgment, Seven of Pentacles. So that's interesting. Um, I do feel like you are waiting on this person to return and maybe come in with a message of love or apology or just something sincere from the heart and seeing certain inklings that there may have been trouble in River City, but we've got the and then add the cat to my list of annoyances. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is divine timing and things unfolding that way um, toward reunion and reconciliation. The Six of Wands is a card of reconciliation. The Judgment card is a card of reconciliation. So we're looking at the timing of that is your blocker challenge. And underneath this is Seven of Pentacles, which is kind of your approach to it is, it's gonna unfold the way it's gonna unfold. And I'm not gonna change that either in the laws of nature or in the in the spiritual realm right it's going to unfold in its own time but you are open to either the reunion or reconciliation second chances however it is applying to your situation um, and the opportunity for you in the near future is the two of cups nine of wands ten of pentacles emperor yeah, this, this story is so beautifully told. It's like if I, when I do readings and I'm pulling just small parts at a time, it's like sometimes doing a jigsaw puzzle and you've got a piece and you see where it goes and then it goes, oh, and now this makes sense, right? Like you start to put it together and um, maybe it's out of order, but one thing leads you to another. That is my experience of tarot. I don't know how it feels to you, but if I were to go back to the beginning, I would say you're worried about um, hearing from this person, your beloved, your past life soulmate, your twin, right? I'm feeling divine masculine and feminine energies here. And this person is moving slowly because they wanna get it right. They don't wanna make another mistake, right? Five of cups. And it's weighing on them very heavily. This has been, you know, a difficult situation that they'd like to move on from. And what's getting in the way is they know that they that there has been pain, that there has been um, some heartache here. And so there's a struggle around how to fix it and what to do and how to be more cooperative. And then spirit comes in and says, I'm going to give you the ace and what you do with it is up to you. But the time is fast approaching for you to decide. And you're over here completely open to receiving this person, to having a second chance, to repair anything, but you're aware that the challenge for you is it's not in your hands. So you are left with um, references to timing and to persevering nine of wands because your opportunity will be to get things back on track for the future that you have been planning for. So we have the emperor, we've got the 10 of pentacles, the queen, right so it does feel we have the two of cups twice the four of wands is like the beginnings of life partnership and here we are seeing it come to fruition at the hands of the divine masculine and what i mean by that is the impetus right they are the ones that have to pick up the ace and run with it so really lovely reading if you've been kind of on the rocks with your beloved it looks like things might be about to change that is what i have for you i'm going to give you the astrology that showed up here don't forget there are links to the extended below we're going to kind of check in here with our knight of pentacles emperor person so it'll be a little bit more focused on them just so that you can get a better handle on how they're processing the whole situation and what might be their next steps Okay, so that's that. Um, 
If you enjoy my readings and you haven't yet, please do subscribe below, like and share if you feel called to do so. If, um, if I don't continue to grow the channel, I can't be here. I can't serve because this is what I do to kind of like bring my energy to you, but I also need to be able to put a roof over my head. So please keep that in mind. Um, click the little notification bell. If you are subscribed, make sure you click that so you see when readings pop up. That's what I have. Here we go. Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Queen of Pentacles is out twice. She's Capricorn. Knight of Pentacles is associated with Virgo. We have Libra in the Justice card. Taurus in the Hierophant. The sun is the sun, but it does rule the sign of Leo. Uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. Judgment is Pluto, which rules Scorpio. And then we have Aries and the Emperor. That's what I have. Heading to the extended, the link's below. Bye for now.